welcome back to another day in the arena. This is your humble host, Coffee Stout, coming at you with a bit of a big deck. Shouldn't say a bit of a big deck. It very much so is a big deck. And what we are trying to do with this is we're literally trying to win games. When you get up in the mythic, I have noticed that it is hard to win games while playing jank. So... I'm not playing jank today. We are playing very big stuff. We are playing only the best of the best thing is with Esper. Is it is much better in best of three than it is best of one. Mostly because you want to be adapting to what your opponent is playing. And you want to have a deck that's wide enough to actually be able to get it. That's the reason for all of these colors. Blue is there to counter things and draw cards. Black is there to remove things that already hit the battlefield and also for Shieldred the Apocalypse. Best black card, in my humble opinion. Obliterator doesn't even come close because all they have to do is not swing and that thing just sits there. You might as well be getting the value yourself for the life gain. Also, it's a lot easier to cast. Okay, so... Blue is here to counter things. Black is here to remove things. White is here to give a little bit of extra control, a little bit of extra oomph with the depopulates. The Wandering Emperor, that's really where this is, you know, going to shine. These kind of big removals. The strength of ossification and disenchants. I know a lot of people don't really consider disenchants a lot i don't see a lot of disenchants out there but i play the disenchant because it's versatile and cheap and it's very easy to remove like a reckon or bank buster on turn two or you know get some value off of it that way also one of the best legendary lands is white as well with ejonjo seat of the emperor you need white to cast it then two more and it deals four damage to attacking or blocking creature so white does have a bit of what would you call necessity yeah that's the word necessity in this deck especially if we're wanting to run these void runs as well void runs are it just destroys target non-land permanent it's pretty simple on the surface but very powerful when it comes down to it the only other thing that we have that comes close to that is going to be ossification and it of course is also white so white is really good at removing non-creatures from the battlefield black is really good at removing creatures from the battlefield and blue is really great at drawing cards and making sure things don't enter the battlefield and that's why we have chosen these three colors we always want to have an answer for something before we jump into the matches i want to talk about one more card and that is demolition field demolition field is in this deck for one reason and one reason only there is a land called the murex out there that creates those little stupid phyrexian mites that have toxic one we don't want to be put on a clock we want to put the opponent on a clock we want their time to be ticking but we don't want them to be able to respond to it that is a whole point of this deck murex actually really really hurts this deck and that's why we run two demolition fields what are the weaknesses of this deck well we don't have any bodies to muck up the board to really affect the state of the board early game uh, again that's why the demolition field is in here but really turn four is when we can start getting creatures and stuff like that out but generally it won't happen till turn five turn six maybe a little bit later even but if you're playing like a control build, you, you're not really worried about that. I only have one creature in here. All I have to do is make sure the opponent runs out of cards and then I do things to win the game. You have to have your finishers in control. Shieldred, Teferi, and Invoke Despair all count as that. The rest of these pieces are just basically control pieces. In a pinch, we could end the game with Wandering Emperor and the Reckoner Bank Buster, but outside of that, we could really do nothing to the opponent. Should be a fun one. Should be interesting indeed. Let's get into the arena and see how this does in Mythic Play. As it is. 
But before we do, make sure you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more Arena. This is a very budget account, and we play what we have here. We're not like a lot of other channels that, you know, just play around with whatever the most popular deck is at the time. I think that that is counterintuitive to showing people how to play Magic well. We could use the tools that we have to beat the new cards that are coming out. Atraxa, all you need is a Dissipate. All you need is a Negate, and it's gone, right? Um, and if we start seeing stuff like that, we definitely want to use Unlicensed Hers. You don't have to spend a lot of money to play this game well. You just have to know what people are playing and then play around it and then win the game. All right, without further ado, let's get in there. I wonder if Fiend's Tower, but I didn't necessarily want to draw three in the opening hand. But you know what? We don't know what the opponent is playing. These two go for the throats could be really good against him. And seeing the sleeper makes me think that that is probably actually true. See a cliffs come out. See a swamp come out. So Demolition Field might not be doing us much advantage. Except for digging for one of our three basic lands in the deck. I think we go like this. Yep, go ahead and pass. See if he swings in, see if he pumps. No, he does not pump. We don't have the mana to stop the um, Fable. So we go ahead and kill the Sleeper before he could do much damage. We still don't have it. Maybe we're just getting um, Rafine's Tower out of the way. Building up that mana base a little bit. There's a Fable, and uh, we don't have any counters in hand. So we're going to have to solve that between games. Looks like we're just going to flood out in this one. That's white as well, right? Okay. Looks like we're just going to flood. There is a lot of hope, though, still early in the game for a control build. Shieldred. We might have used our removal a little bit too early as well. I'm home. We must protect the people. We'll draw. Void rend, huh? Cup couple of different ways to play this. We could void rend it now. And one of the, the advantages of void rending now is he doesn't get to gain the life. And then we push him down a couple of life. So I think that's what our move is. Get rid of that. Now, as far as swinging, we could put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. That'll make him a lot more... Uh, yeah, we are going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Because it's going to make it harder for him to tap creatures. And use the effect from the reflections of Kiki Jiki. Follows up with another Shieldred. And now we draw our negate. Not looking great, is it? Show them how we greet our enemies. We're going to swing. Big brain play if he blocks. He does. All right, we will play a Wandering Emperor. We're gonna keep this one and then we're gonna plus, get rid of the Shieldred and pass back to the opponent. We do have ways of drawing cards in this deck, so we'll get to the cards we need. Today, Negate. 
Ouch. That's a big ouch for the opponent. Infernal Grasp. We're probably minusing on the Wandering Ipper. So we'll swing in. Okay. Down to 11. And uh, let's get ourselves a Samurai. I know he's not going to have any interesting lands coming out. So... I want to do this here so that he doesn't get any value out of the tap effect. Being able to tap it for mana, go grab another mana, then it basically ramps him. I know with this deck, it's a little bit of a weak play, but it is a play nonetheless. And go to intern. See what he could pull off. There's another Invoke Despair. That is quite the shame we lose our second Emperor. And he does get to draw a card off of it. Oh my word. This game was very much so a flood. Again, we're going to sack this. We're going to go over here and kill that one now. I don't know. This could be good because it doesn't look like he has a lot of basic reds. He's going for basic blacks. It almost makes me wish I had had um, more in the way of, um, what would you call it? More in the way of basic lands out here and demolition fields. It almost makes me wish that. He's down to five. I'm at 11. He has five cards in hand. So he should very easily take this one away. Okay. Now he's going to tap the reflections. Um, copy the Blood Tithe Harvester. Try to swing. And I say try to because we Infernal Grasp that Blood Tithe Harvester. He does nothing of the sort. Oh my god. Flooding, flooding, flooding. Kill it. Aha, uh -huh, opponent. There it is. He's tapped as well, so we take game one. If he does not have removal, we get game one. That's it. I told you it always looks like we're losing with this deck, but yeah. And we did see the um, um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, so we're definitely running another negate. Uh, we will run a couple of disenchants as well. Maybe. Maybe. Nah, take the disenchants down to one. And we'll go down like that. We will be on the draw. Opponent definitely going to choose to go first. Uh, mana is bad. I want to mold this. Because not only did we have a bad mana base, we didn't have the negate. We still don't have the negate, but we at least have a good mana base so that we could build around that Reflections of Kiki Jiki, which we know is coming. There's a Harvester. There's the negate. Turn three negate. Let's see it. It's always there. Pass, pass. Um. That really is a shame. Is 
That really is a shame. We'll have to dump a land. All right. Let's see what you got. Here comes a swing. We let it through again. We're really trying to fish out that reflection. Shieldred. That gets through. But we also can void rend that. We don't want that on the field. Reckoner Bank Buster. Man. I don't see many ways out of this one. Mana for turn. Another Shieldred. Well. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to say good game. Uh, opponent had the perfect curve and we drew. Um, yeah. We drew the support cards. Maybe we're actually adding in a bunch of stuff like this. And going down two of these get rid of all of the cut downs because children's edict hits everything ossification hits everything we don't need the cut downs even though they're one mana cheaper we definitely want to dissipate back in here and we want to go down one to fairy pilgrim and i think that the populates both of them can go he likes to play things on the curve, so maybe a little bit more in the way of um, counters as well. He loves to play things on the curve. This disenchant could go away. Really fast game two. Okay, well, it's slow. If our opponent doesn't draw the god hand again, we should be okay. Here comes turn one play. Duress, non-creature, non-land. Go for the throat, infernal grasp, and memory deluge. Probably getting rid of... Oh, the bank buster. He gets rid of one of the bank busters. So since you don't like bank buster, I'm going to play a bank buster. We don't have any counters in hand. And that's probably what he was looking for. We have tons of counters, so we should get them into our hand. But of course, it is time to flood. Okay. Goes to my turn. We draw a card. Detroit. Oh my god. Ouch. That is painful. That is very painful. There it is. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Kill that. We don't want him ramping. It looks like our opponent is running into like the opposite problem that we are. Like, I'm flooding and he's um, bricking. Another mana, guys. Another one. That is absolutely insane. But he has so few cards that I think that we could get away with this. Heard you needed a hero. Well, here I am. I've got eyes everywhere. What do you discard? Okay, we kill it. Yeah. No, sir. We will draw now. Of course it is a land. Well, what if we just draw all of our lands? Let's draw another card with Teferi. It's another land. Let's just draw all of them, huh? Come on, draw another land. There it is. Jesus Christ. What did I tell you? Just land, 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 land. Swing. Then, before we pass turn, we're actually going to do this. 
Now we know he doesn't have any basic red. Or at least we could be fairly certain. We are flooding so badly. Memory deluge is still on the table. Still a very, 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 very important thing to do. But we need to get a land out and we need to get rid of his red. Actually drawing another um, demolition field would probably be really good for us. Okay, here it comes. I thought he was going to do Invoke Despair. Fine by me. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Man, how does he draw like that? We just draw lands. Shildred's Edict. All right, crew. Swing. No blocks, so we're going to make a dude. Nobody knows the past better than me. And we have enough mana to protect our Teferi. If we think that the Teferi is in danger, I don't mind killing a Reflection of Kiki-Jiki or the regular Goblin. Either one is fine. Dress. Okay. I did not expect to rest here. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do? Probably copy the Gabo, go after the Teferi for your Gabo and your other one? Or are you just holding? Just a straight swing. That means that he probably wants to despair here. Yep, there it is. Let's see if we could counter this. We can. Dissipate and we'll get our own despair. Yep. Magic, baby. This guy's 7792. Tapped out. Let's get a. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was fun. That was great fun. We had him anyway because to invoke despair really builds a gap in this. Like he's losing the reflection of Kiki Jiki and the fable with the first one. We draw a card. He loses two life. Then we swing in. We deal four more damage. Oh, yeah. And then the next invoke despair is just fatal. Awesome. Awesome deck. It always looks like you're going to lose with this deck. Always. But lo and behold, you rarely do. First match was a win. Second match was not so much. 25 lands. Couldn't draw any of them. I would rather flood than uh, brick, apparently. This deck has a lot of expensive stuff in it. All of your finishers are expensive. He finally puts his cards away. Looks like he mulled one time. And we lead off with Rafine's Tower. We follow with a planes, and I really don't think holding up negate is the right move in this situation. Anything he could play with mono blue is going to be um, a creature with two, unless he plays a Phyrexian Arena, and uh, I don't think that's what he wants to do. We just keep building our mana base. 
Spider. There it is. We get ourselves one of these guys. That's kind of good. That helps our Reckoner Bankbuster draw. Oh my god. Are we flooding again? It looks like it. Mm -mm, yep. Can't look at the top uh, four yet. Mana. Swings. I think we take two. I think that's what we do here. Because of that. Uh, and here's a really awesome part about Voidrend, right? I do this. We resolve. I decline. And since it can't be or countered, it dies anyway. Now we draw a, a card with the power stone that he so nicely gave us. And we continue to build up mana and pass back to the opponent. We definitely don't want to fight with the Thran Spider with the Teferi's Temporal Pilgrim's um, little token on the first turn. That ain't going to work. And any kind of removal, Teferi goes away. We need this, this to survive, so we need a better mana base in order to make sure that happens. Okay. Swings, we kill it. Go down to 16. He casts something. Hopefully it's a non-creature spell. It is a shield with the apocalypse. Well, we cannot negate that. Draw. Uh, another cut down. Again, not very helpful. My turn. We're going to draw again. It is an invoke despair. All right. You know what? Sometimes things just work out. We got to depopulate. Um, I could go with that. Let's crew the bank buster. Swing in hot and heavy. And go to end turn. What you got? Six mana. He invokes despair in me. I negate his invoke despair. Sorry, buddy. You can scoop at any time. The war of the invoke despairs. I just want to draw cards. And I think it's funny. <laughs> Karoo. Swing away. And of course, we're discarding a cut down. Gross. Shelly. Trying to get back in it. I love the enthusiasm. We'll draw. It is a mana. We do this. We play our own shields rid the apocalypse, and then we pass back to the opponent. I think the populate was the correct move there, though. So that's a little bit of a shame on me. Okay. Might stone and the weak stone definitely going to be drawing cards, right? Yep. And he's back up to eight, so we're we're in some real trouble here. Hall of whatever, create power stone, create our thing. Okay, I'm going to crew, and we're going to basically tell our opponent that we are willing to start this game back over. I want to hold my four life, though. I'll block. I'll chump block with the Reckoner Bank Buzzer, buddy.
depopulate. And we actually have enough to Teferi Temporal Pilgrim here. Don't feel bad when you lose. I'm quite a tough opponent. Nobody knows the past better than me. That's right, Teferi. You tell them. Okay, he gets a draw. That draw every turn's pretty brutal. Why do they let the opponent draw cards? Okay, that's a 2-2. Two -two. March. Gains a little bit of health back here. Memory Deluge. That is such a good draw for us. That allows us to kind of pop that. It's four and a tap. So we're going to break this now. I wanted to spend the mana on this turn when no creatures are on the field. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has a power stone here, so he could do that. Yep, we're going to do it. We're going to grab blue. We're going to create a dude. And we're going to pass nice to back. See a familiar face. <clears throat> I, I thought we had won this game a, a little while ago, and now we're kind of sitting back here again. Let's go with another bank buster, I think. We want this guy to get big. Go to my turn. E. John Joe. More mana. We're going to draw. This should be game. Unless he has removal in his hand, this is game. Because we're drawing three cards. That puts him up to a lot. I don't math. Up to seven. Then we swing. And then that's it. What did we see? Lots of non-creature spells. Um, Did we see Invoke Despair? I thought we did. We did. Yeah, 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 we did. And we saw Shelly's. Cut downs go away. They are replaced by Essence Scatters and Negate. And we have a War of the Invoked Despairs if we do so choose. Go down one. No. We need removal on the field as well. Didn't see any planeswalkers. We'll go down one. No, I, I want my draw power, so I want to keep the bank busters. And it seems to usually be the only thing we could do on turn two. Go down one essence scatter. Negates a little bit more important in my opinion. Negate Emperor Shieldred. No removal. But of course, we always draw what we need. Two mana again. I don't think Negate's hitting this early. We want it to be hitting the um, Invoke Despairs anyway, so we're dropping Bank Buster, even though that kind of leaves us a little bit open. There's third mana, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Fine. Pass back. Mana. Swings. Oh, that is a demolition field. I cannot block it. Well, okay. We'll pass. We might actually hit a target with negate. We don't. <laughs> All right, we draw a card before it hurts us to draw. See, there's the essence scatter. Where were you two seconds ago? So I wonder if I should throw my Emperor out. 
Nah, we're not going to put her up there as a target. Sometimes I like to do that. Put my Emperor out there as literally a removal target. And uh, today we're not going to be doing that. We are going to be playing the game like this. Easily gets through. Exile the Shelly. We want to void rend the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. And of course he punishes me for that. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Alright. We got punished for not holding up Essence Scatter or Negate earlier. This is just three damage. So I'm thinking we're taking it. Thran? And draw a card. We're not dead. At least not yet. No mana for turn. Go to his turn. Mana. Swings. And misses. Remember, we have to decline this. <clears throat> and there's the Invoke Despair. Called it on cue. I should have said it out loud, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys aren't going to believe me. We don't have any negates or anything in hand, so we do this. And let's start to get some of that life back. We're close to a uh, Invoke Despair as well. Okay, there's the Blast Zone. Ha! You... Are a horrible human being. Okay. Okay. It's really quite the shame losing a game like this one. We thought we had it all, but we had nothing. Hmm. By memory deluge, I could still do some things. Four, five, six. Could also draw three cards. It doesn't hurt us either. Let's draw three cards. Go to his turn. Mana. Might stone and weak stone. He gets to draw some cards. That's really good for him. Shieldred the Apocalypse. Doesn't quite kill us. Kill that blast zone. Just because it is available as an action that we can do. Take the action. <laughs> oh no! Let's look. There's the grasp. There's the negate. We're down to one. If he has another Shelly, we just scoop it up. Might Stone and Weak Stone. I'm gonna draw a couple more cards. Mana. Pardon me if I go a little bit slower. 
throws away my negate. That is rough. You've still got to get two damage off on me. One, two, three, four. We'd probably want to void rend this, right? I think we're dropping a bank buster for one and his little power stone. There's a pause. Okay. We're leaving a lot of mana open, but we're going to be using a lot of it. Shelly kills me immediately. Soren the Mirthless does not. That doesn't stop it from being annoying. Do we draw the perfect card? No. Okay, you get a Soren. I am vengeance. Bloody. He knows it too. He knows what he is going for. Oh no! <laughs> no! Good game. I'm just gonna kill myself here. Yeah, take that. Two damage. Oh, what a way to go. What a way to go. Essence Scatter, come back in. We can go down one Emperor. <laughs> oh, man. That was a, an unfortunate game. Unfortunate, for sure. I thought we were there. I thought we had it, but we didn't. Okay, now time for the deep focus to set in for the game. Third round and best of three. Really unfortunate mana base here, but we do have two Reckoner Bank Busters. Slow but steady. Nice little mirror match for us. Starting off with Rafine's Tower. Start to build up that base just a bit. There's the Duress. Yeah, we kind of kept a garbage ham for the negate, and we lost the negate right there. My opponent knows it, too. He knows what my hand is, so Reckoner Bank Buster is by far the best move here. Uh, he answers with his own Bank Buster mana. Pass back to the opponent. Thran. Go for the throat does not hit Thran. Draw. Infernal Grasp does hit Thran. Yes, words. That two and a tap? It is two and a tap. But we could pay with this as well. We need to fix our mana, so I'm thinking that we... We got to play. We got to play. Oh, wait. We could actually exile this and put some pressure on the field. But I don't think that's right. I think what is right is doing one of these numbers. Mana. Goes to my turn. We demolition field. We pop that. He could make one more power stone. But then he doesn't get to draw a card. He wants to draw the card. Interesting. I will take the action and we're going to dig down and grab our second blue. 
Second blue source. Depopulate. Kind of want to land there, so I'm going to reach down and try to grab some. No. But a good card, but unplayable completely. Uh, we want to pretend we don't have unplayable stuff. We do have a go for the throat. And he gives us a gift with the blast zone. We get to create another tapped power stone. And we're going to pop it. Demolition field pops. We kill the blast zone. Opponent. Taps. And he's going to draw another card off of that bank buster. Yup. Totally fine. Take the action, and we're going to reach down and grab a planes. Not much of a choice there. Now we actually have a mana base. Tap these two. Play the bank buster. We could depopulate. I think that's wrong. Okay, swings in. That's fine. We take it. What you got? Come on. You know you want to. Invokes despair. I will dissipate. Knew we should have held that mana up. We'll draw with our power stones. Awesome, we drew the land. That is great. We have enough for Teferi. We haven't seen much in the way of removal. So I'm getting close to wanting to play that Teferi. But I'm not quite convinced yet. He's got a lot of cards. There's his own Reckoner Bank Buster, which could do some damage. He can't really swing in with the Thran Spider. Another Mish... Oh, no, that's Mishra's Foundry. All right, that's the first one we've seen of that. It's pretty good stuff. Essence Scatter? Yeah. No, sir. What else do you have? Uh, a shieldred into a shieldred, huh? Very spicy. Okay. Cruise the bank buster. This is actually a really good opportunity for us. We have like a stellar next few turns because when he swings here, he decided not to. Then we'll memory deluge. Um, yes, and we probably want land as well, right? Do something like this. We want the land because we want to essence scatter. And four, five, six, that gives us just enough to essence scatter. Yeah, we're going to draw. Now we will crew here. We want to get the second bank buster off of the field. Swing. He decides to crew. There's a block. And 
And now, sir, we put you down to nothing. How do you like that? How do you like that cup of tea? Wham! A pause for thought for the opponent. I wonder what's holding priority for him. Maybe he just has all priorities. There's a Sorin. We can't really get to the Sorin. Gonna plus on him? No joy in the slaughter. Yeah. But it's necessary work. You got yourself a field of ruin. My secrets. I'm glad we grabbed the Very land well. when we had the opportunity. Because, oh wait, we still do have one planes. Comes in with Mishra's foundry, huh? We can't go for throat on that. We could void rent it, but then he gets to keep his Sorin. Okay. So we don't have enough to void rent it this turn. But going into the next turn, we will. You know what would be nice is a Shieldred. That would be very nice. There we go. But we do have to void rend this. Get rid of that. Cannot be countered. I don't think Black has any way to really return him to his hand right now. Definitely has ways of getting him out of the graveyard, though. Opponent moving very slowly now. He... I, I'm behind in time. Maybe he's just punishing me for being slow. I'm sorry. I'm slow. Balance may never be restored now. We sheltered. He could have the removal. But even if he does, just getting a little bit of value, getting a card out of his hand, blocking the Mishra's fo or foundry, pinging him for two. We could even crew the bank buster. It's got some versatility. It's a field of ruin. Ouch. We're going to crew. We're going to draw a card. We're going to gain some life and I'm going to actually sack the bank buster. Ah, mmm, tasty. The taste of pain. That's what that is. <laughs> That's a lot of good choices that we have. As in Scatter looking a little bit juicy, he's looking at the Planeswalkers. He's like, well, is having a backup copy of Teferi more important than a Wandering Emperor? And uh, he decided it was not more important. All right, coming in. Popping me for two. We get to invoke despair. Well, we start with the Teferi, which he now knows about. A puzzle. We minus on so that. Is meant to be shared. Then we move on to his turn. Mana. That's what we like to see at this point in the game. What else you got? Gix's command. Very good card. He does get to kill one of my creatures. That, that means he gets to go after the Teferi. Shieldred. And we're going to have to essence scatter this. He has two Shieldreds, though. He, he knew about the essence scatter. And now he gets to go after that to fairy. He does not know about the invoke despair though. We draw Running our own shieldred. Let's push it into play. 
Make him answer the shieldred. He kind of answers it with another shieldred, which he's doing. But we do have a go for the throat. We also have the invoke despair. The question is, is how many cards do we want to draw? I mean, I guess that's fine. That's fair. We get a planes. He gets a swamp. Good old mono black. I kind of want to draw more cards, so we go for the throat. We get another Rafine's Tower. We do this, we cannot invoke despair this turn. Heck, decisions are so hard at this point in the game. Um, we swing. Down to eight, then we invoke despair. And that's six more damage to him. And we gain six. Wow. I guess that's perfect for this part of the game where we're just drawing all of our finishers. So even if he finds a way... Oh, nope. He just has to take two damage, right? Because he has to take two damage because he drew a card. So we win. What a match. Go ahead and remove him. There. He gained life. Oh, March was a... What a play. He comes in. That was a good play. That was a really good move for the opponent there. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. But we have a lot more cards than he does. I'm impressed with that. That was that was good Even stuff. Who is that handsome devil? At the last moment, he pulls through with nine more life, just to look down the barrel of another Teferi Temporal Pilgrim and Shieldred the Apocalypse, which immediately gets removed. Cruise it. Ah, tough choice. We will definitely be blocking this. This is a little bit of a desperate play by the opponent. The hopes that I would not block. We draw a negate. We don't have to be working towards drawing any more cards. We're definitely going to be drawing more cards, but we don't have to, like, physically do it. We negate. He doesn't have much left. And the only thing that he would really want to play right now is either a Gix's Command. Well, Gix's Command, we would hit that, but an Invoke Despair. But I think the last card he has might be Land. There is much the past can teach All right, us. let's take it over. I mean, we've already taken it over, but let's just finish him off. Finish him off. And he is going down with pride. He says good game. I let that go. I want to say good game as well. Gets rid of the void rend. Fair enough. Before my turn starts, um, let's make sure we're doing this correctly. Okay, he, he scoops. He scoops. That was pretty fun. Now, these games do take a long time, so let's go ahead and go to a post-game wrap. And let's talk, about, let's talk about what I would like to do with the next deck. And it's very similar to this one. Let's go take a look. Big Esper, what else could we say about this deck? It, 
did what it was supposed to do. We won two of the matches. We lost one, and that one, I, I don't accept it. I do not accept it because, well, we <laughs> first match we drew nothing but mana. Then the second match we drew no mana, and then we started drawing mana after it was a little bit too late. That match will not be in here because it's pretty boring to watch somebody just die slowly very slowly especially with the mirror matches we get but let's talk about this what do we want to do with this deck well i definitely want to see some kaitos in here so kaito shizuki is coming into this kind of a deck and really the problem with this deck the arena does help us out a lot because it gives us mirror matches all over the place. But the big problem with this deck is how slow it is. We're big. We're bulky. We rely on really smart early plays in order to get where we're going. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we want to actually speed this thing up a lot. Kaito, I think, helps us get in that right direction quite a bit. I would say that we want to drop white off completely, but maybe we're actually going for the the, the big boy play of Rafine. And trying to throw some Rafines in here as well. Rafine is very good and it is very fast. This actually would significantly speed up the rate at which we're able to play. And we could actually probably just drop these Invoke Despairs off. As far as the original deck, what we were playing, I would play that. I, I would play that any day at any time, right? Uh, but I like to change up what I'm doing quite a bit because it makes it more fun for me. It makes it more fun for me to play and have a good time. So that's why I play a lot of decks. But the original deck that we had right here with the bank busters and stuff like that, very fast, very good. This is the next build that I want to bring into the arena and try to get some um, spicy little wins in there. See if we can get back up to 90% in Mythic, maybe higher hopefully higher uh but overall i think adding a little bit more speed couldn't hurt us it certainly couldn't hurt us but thank you for joining today make sure that you've liked and subscribed liked the video and subscribed to the channel liking the video helps more people see the content and subscribing to the channel helps boost my ego a little bit which is very small right now my ego is incredibly tiny and it's really sad. Help me sleep at night. Subscribe. That's all. I'm out of words. Thanks for joining. Bye.